Welcome to this introductory video on Genetic System Builder. GSB is a unique and powerful way to build systems. Now the advantage of system builders is they can build systems that humans have never thought about. They can try billions of combinations that humans have never thought about. But the weakness of the system builder is most systems out of sample are unprofitable. And this is disastrous when it comes to live trading. GSB has an improved architecture and methodology that leads to better out of sample results. To show this, we're going to build a sample S&P 500 day trading system. I'm using 30 minute bars on data one session. Data two, which we use for our indicators, we're using not only data one, but we can use unlimited amount of secondary data streams. And I'm going to use the S&P 400 cache and the S&P 500 cache. I'll start Genetic System Builder running and we'll just talk about some of the filters that we're using for this demonstration. We would normally have filters to only show some of the better performing systems but I want to show here that all systems that GSB looks at in its test period will be displayed, whether that be good systems or bad systems. So you can see every single system is going to produce uh, a, a pair there according to the full period, the training period. The only criteria we have is that it's a linear system. And my logic is if it's linear in sample, if it's a very linear, the probability of it being very linear out of sample is also reasonable. But the only criteria we have is 0.98 Pearson's factor and 100 trades. As far as the test and validation period, we are allowing all systems to pass good and bad. So now you can see that so far after running for 58 seconds, GSB has produced seven systems and they are unique systems. If the parameters are different, but the system is the same, that's not counted as a unique system. And we only see one of a particular variation of system. So I can now sort these by the entire period, in sample and out of sample. So I'm sorting this the linearness of this entire period here and I'm going to look at the worst systems and the best systems. So we've been running now for a minute and a half when we can probably stop it there. But if we look at this here, the very worst system that was produced was a Pearson's correlation of 0 0.934 and so that's still nice and profitable out of sample. And then the very best system was one that had a Pearson's correlation of 0 0.992. So everything in this example happens to be profitable out of sample. You could argue that I'm a bit lucky and in one sense that's true because if you look at this figure here on the right, there is 3.7 to the power of 32 possible systems with the amount of indicators and architecture that we currently have on GSB. So I'll leave that running for a little bit longer and we'll just try and look at some good and some bad systems. So again, I'm sorting on the worst results and we're getting this one here and the very best results is the system here. So I'm going to pick a system that I happen to like the equity curve of. And I like that one there. It's nice and linear. It's got a very good profit factor of 1.97 over the entire period and an average trade of $144. So I'm going to run a walk forward test on that and I'll just see if there's any other systems that I think are worthwhile pursuing, uh, seeing if they work uh, through a work forward test. What a walk forward test does is it gets a system to trade over a sample period of data and then gets the best parameters and looks how will that system go in the next period out of sample. So it basically enables us to get a very good picture of out of sample performance and also to refine the parameters to see what ones are working best. 
right so we've been running for two and a half minutes and I've made GSB stop at that level there so again I'm just going to go to the very worst system it produced was this one here normally it's worse than this but it's just uh, a bit of luck uh, as well with such a high probability of high number of variables so then I'm just going to again see if there's another system that I think oh I really that's the worst one I need the best one I'm now going to see if there's another system that I like the look of well, I'll use that one there to be honest I don't like the look of it that much but we've only been running GSB for two and a half minutes and I would normally run it for hours we could possibly look at a third or fourth system well that one there looks reasonably okay so I'll run a walk forward test on that and see if there's maybe another system that's nice and linear if we go to the walk forward tab we can see here there's the three systems that were walk forwarded and when they've hit hundred percent we can look at what the results are going to be like we can see now that our walk forwarded systems have completed their walk forward analysis and we can look at the results so we can see here the original equity curve is the one with the red and green and the in sample curve which is the yellow one here has exceeded the original equity curve and the out of sample curve has also almost exceeded it except for this last little bit on the end so that in itself is a pass as far as a initial very quick walk forward so we can then look at the next system and we can see again a similar situation where profitability of all curves was roughly the same we can see the third system here the original curve in green the in sample is better and the out of sample curve is below the original curve this isn't a great result but technically I'd still say that that's past to walk forward but this is just a very quick overview to let you see that GSB systems have got a very good chance of succeeding out of sample compared to many other systems there are many reasons why GSB systems tend to go better out of sample than most other system builders one of the reasons is the systems are very simple you can see that we're using three indicators and we're using one secondary filter in these examples the only stop we're using is market on close and there's no stops no profit targets no trailing stops things like that to get in the way and muddy things in one sense too so I'm going to get our completed system here the first one and I'm going to go to the trade station code I'm going to control C control V and cut and paste that into trade station I'll hit F3 to verify the system I can then do insert strategy GSB test video test demo sorry and now we have the system from GSB onto trade station view performance report and here we have our sample test system there are still some more validation checks that I would recommend you do before we go live trading but at least this is a high level view to show how powerful GSB is I'm now going to explain GSB client server that's where one manager GSB can run unlimited workers the workers can be on the same machine and you can run numerous copies of a worker on one physical machine or they can be on a LAN or somewhere else on the internet so I've made a batch file which will run about nine copies of GSB on this machine why we may want to run numerous workers on one machine is GSB with one worker doesn't fully drive the CPU once I've run this I'm then going to go to the manager which is going to be on a different computer note on the top title bar it actually says that it's a manager and it gives us the workspace name of workspace one I'm now going to hit play and the manager will talk to all the other workers and the workers will begin and you'll start on the right hand side seeing the systems come online you can see now on the worker machine which is the AMD the CPU starting to crank up on the right hand side it's given the 
status has changed to running and it's coming up with the speed of how many systems per minute. Meanwhile back on the managers machine we can click on speed and we can see there that we have eight workers that have come, nine workers now that have come online. And I'm now going to run another machine to give us more workers. We can see now that the 5960 CPU is started to come online too. And we're now getting up to a speed of 18, 19,000 systems per minute. So our speed now over two physical computers and the high-end ones is on about 49,000 systems per minute. So it's roughly a tenfold speed, maybe eightfold speed increase of what GSB was running on a single computer. And that probably means it's coming up to 100 times faster than what Adaptrade Builder was. And I think Adaptrade Builder is probably one of the fastest system builders on the market that I've tried. The bottom line is you get your systems incredibly fast and then you get on to the more exciting bits of choosing the systems that you like to enable you to make money. Another unique feature of GSB is the ability to use custom indicators. Now you may have a proprietary indicator that you want to use in GSB or you might have some locked indicators that you've bought from TradeStation or MultiCharts. And let's say your indicator is called Top Secret. And it may have only uh, one input range. Let's say from 5 to 100. Step 5, we then just click Generate, and this will create some TradeStation code that will create the proprietary indicator so you can use it in GSB formulas. And then after GSB has built systems, you can again use it in GSB and TradeStation. If you go to my website, trademade.info forward slash sysbuilder. You can download GSB and try it. Thanks for looking at this video.